your Chris 6 weather forecast with meteorologist Bill Alexander. Well, good afternoon, folks. As we mentioned earlier, this has been a, 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 excuse me, an eventful weekend. You can tell that. But now we've got fair skies over most of the area. 80 degrees on the west side of Corpus Christi with an east-southeast wind at 16 miles an hour. And uh, you can see basically good traffic out there. 86 hundredths of an inch of rain officially. Also fair skies, a few scattered clouds in Beeville. And they had 94 hundredths of an inch, 83 degrees currently there. And Rockport doesn't want to come up, but they had better than two inches of rain there and a lot more in certain other areas. As I mentioned, officially 86 hundredths of an inch. Temperature got down to 68 in some of that heavy rain and 80 degrees this afternoon. It may rise another degree or so uh, between now and, say, sunset, but tomorrow is looking pretty good. We waited for this. Mostly sunny out in the coastal waters tomorrow. Southeast wind, 15 to 20 knots. That's going to wait for choppy bays and seas at 4 to 8 feet. So small craft should be exercising caution out there. Rip current at risk is going to be moderate, and water is at 77 degrees. So here's what we have left over. Still those two aerial flood advisory regions. You can see Aransas, San Patricio, a little part of Refugio County. And this is what we're seeing now. Looking pretty nice out there. Here's the big picture though. We do have another disturbance. This one has now moved on off. I've already got a new uh, severe weather watch over the high plains. That's in advance of the next disturbance, but you can see things are looking nice around here. A little lingering shower uh, near Falfurius, and that will be dissipating pretty quickly. So a pretty quiet night in store for us. Right now, temperature is hanging around from the middle 70s to the north and northeast to the middle 80s, even around 90 degrees in the far inland areas. Overnight tonight, with all the moisture in the atmosphere, only middle to upper 70s for a low. And then tomorrow, well, the heat is on again, back into the lower to middle 80s along the coast, middle 90s in the inland areas, and you might see one or two showers. But this is what we have going on, a very active pattern we're working in into tomorrow the quiet day and as you move into Tuesday another big area of instability coming in with thunderstorms Wednesday a major system moves in swings across with heavy rain and Thursday Friday you see wave after wave of instability moving across our area so what it means for us yeah the rain is really gonna pile up we thought we were bad this weekend but you put this on top of that at the saturated ground we're gonna have some major flood issues once again so that's what we're going to be watching. Here's the last vestiges of rain, gone but not forgotten. It'll be remembered by our soil in the form of ponding, and that's going to happen quickly, middle to the latter portion of the week. Overnight tonight, down into the middle 70s. Tomorrow, back up into the middle, perhaps even upper 80s, a little breezy in the afternoon, maybe a sprinkle or two. But the big issue is all this rain we'll be seeing this coming week. And watch out for flooding. We'll give you updates as needed during the course of the week.